All right, wouldn't it be great if you could add some key ingredients to your diet and increase your lifespan? Well, we recently talked about a super small village in Italy near the Amalfi Coast called a Chiaroli that may God have a secret <laughs> to living <laughs> to over 100 in years old. In this village, researchers observed an abundance of two foods, anchovies and rosemary. Oh. So our Today food team recruited Seamus Mullen, the me. chef and proprietor at Tertulia here in Manhattan. <laughs> He's also an, uh, an authority, he says, on food and wellness, <laughs> and obviously practice what he preaches. Look, look at this. Yeah. Where is that, Seamus? Oh, that's on my roof. Just you doing what you do, Seamus. Yeah, a little handstand. Looking All good. Right, so well, welcome. We have okay, so anchovies. I love anchovies. You ladies are a little bit of a. Uh, you're I, on the fence about like them. I don't like them. I don't like to eat them in bulk. Okay. But I, yeah. Well, they're, 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 I call them the little fish with a big voice. They okay. make friends, they make enemies, but they're okay. really, really amazing. Okay. Good for you. And the rosemary is a little more approachable, right? Yeah. I don't like it on chicken. Everybody oh, loves rosemary yeah, I love chicken. Rosemary. Yeah, most okay. people do. Well, we're going to hide both hide, of these hide things. Both hide them. Okay. Yeah. So, Kathy, if you can get that stuff in here, we're going to yeah. make a pesto. I've got some anchovies in there already. So, uh -huh. rosemary. Uh -huh. Yeah. The great thing about rosemary, it's a natural antiviral. So, one of yeah. the keys to living a long life is not getting sick for a okay. long time. Don't get sick to begin with. Exactly. Right. Uh -huh. So, what else is in there? Mint? There's some mint. There's there's some garlic. Garlic. Also good for your immune system. And are these sesame seeds? What no, are these those seeds? are some chili flakes. So we're just oh, getting a little heat. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Olive oil. Can you throw that in there yeah, for me? Yeah, sure. I'll get this locked okay. up. And then I have some cheese. We're going to do this with fish, so you could omit the cheese if you okay. want. But go ahead and throw it in. Dump it in? Dump it in. Go okay. ahead. And some, um, we got some pine knots and a little bit of vinegar. Pinoli. Perfect. There we go. And then literally all we do is you just buzz it up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. And we get this beautiful little pesto here. So okay. this is... Nice little pesto. And that is, it's great with fish, so we're gonna do some bronzino. Um, Lots of uh, the flavor from the anchovies in there, very, very simple. So we'll okay. just season this up. Some sea salt right on top of the fish. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna add our rosemary in again, right on top of the fish, and this will get grilled in with the bronzino. So getting okay. some good fish, a little bit of um, lemon, lemon zest, zest, cause it's good, drizzle of olive oil. Mm. And then it goes right on the grill, and we just grill it quickly on both sides. Okay. And this is what we're looking for, something kind of just like that. And then serve it with a little bit of the pesto here. So you just pour the pesto. Pesto on top right on the top. Food? I've got oh. some grilled asparagus. I marinated it in try? olive oil. Sure, sure. sure. And I'm then... gonna see if I can taste either one of those. See if you can, let me know if yeah. you can get I the rosemary. rosemary or... But I'm not a huge not a anchovy huge person. Chance. But that's okay. You know what? Who cares? We might we'll make try. friends here. Let's see. Survey says. Mm. Oh my really God. Tasty. I don't taste either one. Mm. So that's the thing about anchovies. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. they, they're really subtle. You oh, don't really I'm get the flavor. Mm. Just that's a little delicious. bit. Delicious. You know, we, the first restaurant I ever worked in was called Everything But Anchovies. Oh, that's <laughs> and, and, and I've become a huge anchovy fan. So. And we asked him what, if, in the break, what, if you were on, sadly, death row, and you got your <laughs> last meal, what would it be? And you said? Anchovies with, you know, avocado. All I'll right. Say. And, and by the way, you've dressed up some, yep. some eggs with... Uh, Deviled eggs with anchovies. What have you done here? That's some lamb kebabs, which go really, really well with anchovies. Lamb and anchovies And you have a natural. rosemary skewer? Rosemary mm -hmm. going through that. And how about the tea? So this is a little bit of rosemary tea, where you've oh. just taken some rosemary, a little bit of uh, hot water, and you made want, a beautiful tea. You want to try it, Catherine? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Pass it over. Thank you so much. I know that this is not quite fermented enough for all of us, but we'll enjoy it anyway. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. That was really good. Okay. For this recipe and more ways to cook with anchovies and rosemary, go to today.com slash food. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.